Hey guys, Julie here for D News. It wasn't that long ago when the U.S. Congress declared pizza as a source of some of your daily vegetable intake. The bill proposed back in 2011 allowed the USDA to count two tablespoons of tomato paste as a vegetable. But as bad as that sounds, that's exactly how most Americans are getting their vegetables. So the thing is, the USDA recommends that we eat about 2.5 to 3 cups of vegetables a day. But a recent survey from the Centers for Disease Control found that 87% of adults don't get that much. Instead, the vegetables we do eat, like tomatoes and potatoes, are in the form of processed foods like french fries and tomato paste on pizza. But even if things change now and people start eating healthy, there's a bigger problem. There's simply not enough veggies to go around. Recently, the USDA found that only 1.7 cups of veggies are available for every person, and not even the kind that's recommended. Daily recommendations promote a variety of veggies, from dark leafy greens to colorful veggies to tasty legumes. A recent report by the USDA found that potatoes, tomatoes, and lettuce make up close to 60% of U.S. vegetable availability. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, most of those produce are set for processing into less healthy foods like potato chips and tomato sauces. So what are farmers growing instead of produce? Well, the top five most common crops in America are corn, soybeans, hay, wheat, and cotton. Of the 300 million acres of farmland used for food, only a small portion, 14 million acres, are used for fruits and veggies. And that includes the stuff we grow for processed foods like chips. And they aren't growing these crops to meet demands of American appetites. A lot of it has less to do with the nation's food habits and more to do with price. The federal government heavily subsidizes crops like corn, which might be good for the food supply, except for most of it doesn't get eaten by people. According to the National Corn Growers Association, about 80% of all corn grown in the U.S. is consumed by domestic and overseas livestock, poultry, and fish production. Only 12% of corn is consumed directly or indirectly as corn syrup for things like soda. Farmers grow whatever crops are the most profitable.